हे एवरी वन दिस इज पी के एस वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मैसेजेस क्यूज ओके इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वट इज मैसेज क्यूज आर की कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैसेजेस क्यूज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैसेजेस क्यूज एंड बेनिफिट ऑफ मैसेजेस क्यूज तो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so guys what is message is queue so message we can understand data body right or you can say simple data and queue we know it's a data structure right so message queues are a very essential component in any distributed system which enables asynchronous communication between your services or components now what is asynchronous communication okay asynchronous so asynchronous communication is where exchanging the information between sender and receiver but for the same message they don't interact at the same time right so maybe a uh, sender and here receiver so for example uh, one person sends an email and maybe the receiver will uh, receive that email and will respond back after 5 minutes right so this is one example uh, of the messages queues right in real world we will talk about for an example let's say there is an e-commerce website like flipkart hai amazon hai generally एंड कस्टमर्स ऑर्डर करते हैं राइट एट द टाइम ऑफ ऑर्डर कस्टमर को हम एक ऑर्डर प्रोसेसिंग करते हैं एक एंड वी सेंड एन ई मेल एंड एन एस एम एस राइट तो मिलियंस ऑर्डर हो रहे हैं राइट ऑन डेली बेसिस सो द कम्युनिकेशन दैट इज किस एक ई मेल भेजना और एक एस एम एस भेजना दैट कैन बी पॉसिबल वी आर मैसेज इज क्यू राइट सो और एक रियल टाइम एग्जांपल ले सकते हैं फॉर एन एग्जांपल ऑन सैटरडे यू गो टू द मैकडोनल्ड राइट एंड देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ रश राइट सो यू गिव ऑर्डर टू द रेस्टोरेंट एंड दे विल प्रोवाइड यू अ टोकन अगेंस्ट योर ऑर्डर एज ए कंफर्मेशन एंड यू हैव टू वेट एंड दैट डज नॉट मीन की यू जस्ट गिव एन ऑर्डर एंड दे स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग योर फूड दे विल ऑल्सो वेट सो यू विल गेट योर फूड आफ्टर सम time right this is one more example right let's talk about the key concept so one thing is uh, producer and consumer second is message and third is a uh, basically queue right so producer is an entity which send data or message to queue and consumer is an entity which consume that particular message process that and once it process the data or message has been removed from the queue right so this is you can say the data or similar like a request body in any api and this is your sender this is your receiver and Q is a basically data structure, right? Which holds or store this particular data, right? Okay, like this. One, two, three, four. So we can enqueue data from here and dequeue data from here. So Q is a data structure which basically follow the fifo fifo means first in first out first in first out that means jo pehle aayega wo pehle niklega first in first out now examples of uh, messages queues right so we can say uh, aws sqs right and rabbit mq also active mq and another is uh, apache kafka 
right so aws sqs is a, a basically uh, the aws managed service rabbit mq is a uh, an open source which works on amqp protocol right active mq is also an open source which has been written in java and apache kafka is also an open source and it's basically used for a very uh, highly uh, uh, data intensive uh, you can say it's used for a, a streaming purpose for an example you can say uh, Twitter is the best example. Somebody do a post and a uh, lot of likes and comments are happening on real time basis. So we can use Apache Kafka there, right? So let's talk about the benefits of the messages queues. Number one is scalability. So we can scale uh, producers and consumers independently uh, in any cloud, right? Second is fault tolerance. That means ki, uh, if any message is uh, failed or not processed, so we can implement dead letter uh, and dead letter queue. Second, we can implement a retry mechanism on the same so that if sometimes something wrongly happen and it will take time, so you can retry. Right. Second, data aapka delete nahi hota hai. Kyu se jab tak aapka completely process nahi ho jata hai. The third is a load balancing. That means your system can uh, basically distribute the data in multiple consumers. That will increase performance and scalability. Right. The last is asynchronous processing. As I told you, this is a basic fundamental of the messages queue. Uh, since asynchronous processing is there, so consumer and producer are both work independently and overall it provides the uh, good performance or as a good user experience at the real time. So that's all for this particular video. Happy learning. Thank you.